Hey everyone, it's just Thunder D2 and I am back. Uh, let's see, I took um, a little bit out of it. I'm still kind of asleep. Just got up, recorded the Pokemans. Uh, I did a little listening last night. I think it's uh, good in a way that we lost. Well, it's not good because I still you know, lost the damn server we were using to record, but it's good in a way because. I sat down and watched the last videos in the water sphere, and oh my god, the sound is so out of sync. I, you know, of course, have no way of telling at the time we're recording, so. I, uh, yeah, I uh, just, wow. Just wow. <sighs> so, um. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. It's going to be a good amount of time before I can get another server. That's right, I do intend to keep recording with uh, Mr. Freaking Turtles because he's a fun guy to record with. The time schedules have just... Well, my sleeping schedule has just been up in the goddamn air like crazy recently, so... There hasn't been too much of a point in even try. So... I, um, let me see. I'm gonna pack stuff I don't need away. That way it won't get lost. Should I fall to my inevitable doom? Let me see. What do I want to make the roof out of? Can you make stone brick slabs? You can. Awesome. This is gonna take a lot of resources then, which is. I could just use cobble slabs. We'll use cobble slabs. But anyway, but anyway, uh, that's that's gonna have to work. I'm gonna have to work on that more. But um, let me see. I need more than that. I'm sure I need more than that, but not too many more. One, two, three. That's probably enough. Well, I'll go with one more just to make sure. Anyway, um, I'm trying to think, and it does not always work. There we go. Hmm, that might have been there, actually. I probably will need, uh, hmm, so I could do the entire roof in steps, which is the worst part, and it would look kind of neat. Yeah, I'll put those away, because I can use those for something else later. Like, putting around outside to make sure nothing spawns. So, let's grab... Let's just grab all this. Anyway. Ow. What the hell even hit me? That was weird. Anyway. I'll make more steps for this. Because... Anyway, um... Ah, oh, damn. Holidays and all. Things be wacky. So... I'm out of it. Do have a little uh, cash to do Christmas shopping, but otherwise funds are, as for most of the world over, extremely tight. Uh, let that glass cook while I work on this roof. Um, I'll use wood because that will be easier to remove later. All right, now. Where I need steps. Hmm. I have no idea. I'm going to need the glass before I can do that, actually. Oh, yeah, and I do need a couple of those stone slabs. Well, I'm, uh, I'm dumb. You'll have to cope with that fact, people. I try, but I'm not that bright. Well, I'll grab glass anyway, too, so... Looking into trying to find an ebook reader of some form. Might get a Kindle because it is the easiest to find, honestly, and that's easiest to find a uh, functional ebook reader that you don't have to worry about having something horribly wrong with it. And I'll just keep that leftover glass out here. Alright, let me see, what else can I pack away? Iron sword. I'm not gonna be using the sword. I'll uh, probably need some of those torches, actually, because I don't want shit to spawn on the top of my house, which it will. 
now yeah, I'm I am a reader I'm not planning to read a whole bunch on the thing but it would come in handy for a bunch of my hobbies because I do like playing role-playing games like pen and paper role-playing games and you can load books onto them yeah and that sounds awesome to me because I hate having to look through an 84,000 pound stack of books every time I want to look up one thing All right, oh, let's try this again. This is gonna be one. All right, anyway, that's just one thought. I'm also still, and I know a lot of people might have trouble understanding it, but growing up in the generation I did, I'm looking at those FEO Schwartz Muppets with some rather impressive longing and I don't know, it's hard to explain, but yeah, Muppets were a big damn part of my childhood. So they are they have uh intrigued me to a point where I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up with a damn Muppet. And you all may mock me and my Muppet desire. Well oh god, that sounds awful. But anyway. Um, I don't know how to explain this. Uh, not even the Muppet thing, because, all right, you know, the flail through thing is a business that my brother and I have, you know, been working on for well over a year. Our website, you know, we always post our completed flails directly, well, any episode of the flail throughs directly to our website, and we've got honestly at this point verging on two years worth of materials up there a lot of it is text reviews you know it's not videos because we started out doing text reviews and taking photographs of what we thought would be interesting and pertinent but the uh you know i've spent i don't know how much money on that I have actually sold off the majority of my worldly possessions in order to try and fund our little idea. So, I know that I need a better computer, you know, because I'd like to be able to record stuff without having the sound lag, but it's just a straight up, I don't have that many possessions left to sell. I mean, I have, aside from my, or you know, aside from books, many of which aren't worth anything, or things that have some sort of sentimental value, I have gone through just about everything I can think of. And there's not a damn thing I can do anymore. And that, it's saddening and all, but... I, you know, it sucks to say goodbye to some things, but at the same time, really hoping that, uh... Flail throughs will take off in some way, shape, or form. That way, eventually, I'll recoup some of the money. So, I know I always try not to plug it. But anyway, my point of this was being hey, it's Christmas. I've got a few things. I'm actually going to have, you know, money to myself for the first time in I don't know how long. You know, money that I don't have to spend on something important or something for the site. Money that I can buy myself something nice with. The last time I got to do that was at my birthday and I bought... I can't even remember. But either way. It was something that basically was sort of a present for both me and my girlfriend. Oh yeah, it was a couple RPG books. Which, uh, you yeah. know. I you know I know a lot of you probably don't give a good goddamn about RPGs, yeah, traditional RPGs, and I can't blame you. But I like them because they are what spawned a lot, of, or they are what spawned a lot of the video game industry. I mean, hell, in the original Final Fantasy One, half of the creatures in there were just things that were almost ripped directly out of the uh, Dungeons and Dragons monster manual. And hell, a lot of the stuff in there today is still stuff that pretty much comes right out of it. 
I mean, they've changed it enough, so there's no worry about copyright infringement and whatnot. But yeah, a lot of it is pretty much exactly the same. So anyway, what was I going to say? I don't have the slightest goddamn idea what I was going to say. But, you know, that's, anyway, you know, not to be too all-fired boring. It'd be nice, it'll be nice to have a couple bucks to spend on something stupid. Uh, and I'm, you know, torn between the book reader, because I do read when I can, or the uh, Muppets, because childhood dreams and all that rot. That, and of course, my inner craftsperson. This is what happens when someone, you know, has been a cosplayer or sewn or. No, I can't. I'm not saying I can sew well, but. When you get someone who is good at crafts, and I'm not saying good at crafts either, because that would be a lie. Uh, but when you get someone who is good at or likes doing crafts and hand them something, their first thought is. How can I make one of these? And for those of you that have known any cosplayers, yeah, that's pretty much the first thought of how can I make my or how can I make one of these slash how can I improve it? And that would pretty much be what I'd be doing. Well, no, I'm not saying I'd improve it because uh, I'd be trying to make one and probably trying to improve it, and it would go miserably. You know, but either way. Have more stairs, more stairs. No, I do not have more stairs. Ah oh, man, do I have wood enough to build? Yeah, I do have wood enough to build a goddamn bench. Good. That means I don't have to head back down. Oh, but... All right. Any more stairs? Any more stairs? Any, any, any more stairs? And once again, that comes back to a goddamn ancient song none of you have heard of, probably, or care about. I know I've sang it a few times. Or at least bits of it a few times. I'm not sure monsters can spawn on stairs. I hope this works. Because if monsters start spawning up here, I'm boned. I mean, I'm just totally boned. Um, I wonder if I... I know what I'll do. Not that. That's not what I'll do. Yeah, of course. Luckily, our, um... Use of stairs decreases exponentially every time. Yes, and, uh, before anyone starts, you know... I should also mention about the flail through thing, so a thing I was talking about... There we go. Before anyone, you know, before anyone starts feeling any form of, you know, sympathy or pity, I'd like to point out to you that regardless of what I am doing and what I am spending, you know, my money on, or, you know, how much of my money I am spending on this, I'm spending my money on video games, and it counts as me being a reasonable adult. A reasonable and responsible adult. So... You know, before you say, oh, poor thing. No, I get to buy video games and it's considered work. It would be tax deductible if I made enough of an income that I actually had to pay taxes. That's right. I get to be an adult by buying and playing video games. So, no, I'm not actually that... There's no real regret here, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, can, can you think how awful that would be? Or awesome that would be? I get to buy video games I have wanted to play since I was a little kid, and it counts as responsibility. This is awesome on a truly amazing level. I'm going to need to save probably all of the cobble I have there. I'm sure I'm going to run out, too. Oh, I'm absolutely sure I'm going to run out probably before I'm done this row. But, yeah. Whoop. Ah, son of a whore. I'll record until we run out of stone. What the hell? I'm in a, I'm in a fun, uh, happy mood, actually. 
you know, in spite of my, you know, I don't have any money. It's not, it's, uh, I've got, or I'll have a little bit of cash after the holidays. I'll get myself something pretty. Or muppety. Either way. Uh. <laughs> after all, who the hell doesn't want a muppet? Well, I'm sure there are a lot of people who don't want a muppet. Mm. Those people have either grown up without the Muppets as part of their childhood, or just don't have souls. I mean, no offense to the people out there who don't have souls, but you don't have souls. Uh, now, I mean that in as nice and friendly a way as possible. You're dead inside. I can't, I can't. No, it's, it's just a fond memory for me. I'm older. I mean, hell, half of my viewers I've talked to, you're all at least... You're all between 8 and 10 years younger than me. The only exception being my friend who watches these videos who is 11 years older than me. And that's only in spirit. Or, no, not in spirit. Uh, that's only physically in spirit. He's probably about 6 years younger than me. And I can, all I can say to him is, Godspeed, sir. Godspeed. Don't let the world get you down. And he, one of my best friends, a uh, uh, straight up awesome guy. You know, reason I, you know, would, bre you know, the reason I know you all heard me complaining about hurting my back the other day, well, the other week. Mm, yeah, he is the reason I hurt my back, is I would do anything in my power for him if I could. Mm, uh, yeah. right, I've grown appreciative of quote unquote real friends because trust me when I tell you most of the people I grew up with were assholes I mean full on righteous flaming hemorrhoidal assholes even my best friend for you know the majority of my life who I still consider a friend and wish I had not lost co uh, contact with him was an asshole you know uh, <laughs> and, you know my uh, you know, ca uh, this guy is er, one of the few people who never been an asshole to me. Well, drunk, but that's a different story. Everyone's an asshole, or everyone has the potential to be an asshole while drunk. That's something you just don't hold against someone. So anyway, that's uh, yeah, he's a great guy, and uh, he also his mom helped. Thankfully, this year, find my dad a goddamn Christmas present, because I was out of the... Or, I was out of goddamn ideas. I find, I mean, she went, here, have a box full of blues CDs. Or jazz CDs. And my father is a absolutely fanatic jazz buff, and she gave, like, God, I think, like, 40. Or something like that, and he was... Happy to the point of, I swear to God, he was almost in tears. I had, and I don't get, I never know what the hell to get my father. I don't know about you if you all have any problems with shopping for your relatives, but I'm clueless. There, this looks half-assed and awful. But, and most importantly, we're done. All right, let's take this down. We're going to have to fall to get back. I don't like that, but fuck it. Ah, uh, ow. Yeah, all right. It's always a bit of a pain shot for my father. And by a bit, I mean a complete pain. <coughs> so let's see how it looks from the inside. I'm going to guess awful. Yep, random, uh, random frickin'. <laughs> Random freaking wood up there. I'll fix that eventually. It's going to drive my OCD completely up a wall if I don't. I really hope zombies haven't spawned in here. And I'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. But I want to put down torches. Zombie? Nope, no zombie. 
Hey, no zombie, no zombies, no zombie. There we go. Alright, that should provide plenty of light source. Alright, and we'll, you know what? Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can get up there. And fix this, because it's going to drive me up a damn wall. There we go. It is disguised well enough. Now we go down. Giggy. There we go. That's half decent looking ish. So, that'll probably just about wrap it up for this session. I uh, know it was a bit longer than normal. I'm probably going to have to start cutting them back down to 15 minutes again, guys. But, uh, we'll, we'll see what comes of it. I'm going to stay in the bed because. I want to check on our farm. But I will talk to all you guys tomorrow.